Hello, it's Elder here, and today I wanted to go ahead and talk about this food made by a company called Valley Food Storage. I uh, received a few samples in order to uh, review uh, this food, and I wanted to share my uh, findings with you and uh, let you know why I think they're uh, pretty good to go. Now, while I was in the Marine Corps, we had uh, MREs, which were meals ready to eat. And uh, I'll be honest with you, they were god-awful. Uh, some of them would be okay if we could throw as much stuff as we could find in them, from uh, the hot sauce to ketchup to anything else that we could possibly barter for if we were in other countries, to try to mix uh, with our MREs to, uh, to basically make them tolerable. Now, what we have with these uh, food packagings by Valley Food Storage is that they do have a 25-year shelf life. Okay, so that's a great thing. They're made in the USA, and the beauty about it is you actually have the nutrition content, and you could pronounce every ingredient that's actually in here. Uh, so you don't actually have to be a chemist or a uh, scientist to figure out what's in your food and to be able to figure out how to pronounce it. So that's one thing that I like. Everything is right here, um, itemized for you. And just think about it, a 25-year shelf life. So when we're looking for these emergency food storage uh, type um, supplies, uh, this is something that I really want you to consider and uh, relatively uh, viable. They're a uh, small company uh, based out of uh, Utah and uh, seem to be uh, really caring, uh, really care about what goes into their packaging. And uh, that's why I decided to uh, give them a, a closer look and review them both for you and for our uh, Natural Training Center members. Now we get a lot of convenience uh, out of the way that they're packaged. Uh, servings are listed right up here. So you're thinking about one, uh, one bag of food that you have out there in the field with you, okay, that's basically dehydrated and uh, you add water and it's good to go and tasty, um, but also the way that it's packaged. We have a uh, bit of a, um, a Ziploc type uh, packaging here, which is great. So if you do want to just use, like for the purpose of this review, I'm going to end up using probably about a serving. Um, so I can go ahead and not have to worry about opening up the bag and having to utilize everything that's in there. That way I can break this up and whether I have two or three meals a day if I'm by myself or if I'm divvying it up uh, with uh, other natural training center members or uh, family members or whoever I happen to be with. Uh, it just makes it much more convenient, uh, easier, and uh, you're not wasting any food. You kind of have it uh, on demand when you do need it. I'm always trying to find uh, different means uh, to be prepared in emergency situations, uh, always looking for a better way and always looking for more options, you know, hence uh, this review project that I do. And uh, here's a, a very viable source, uh, because what I like about this is you have the 25 year shelf life. So you can have this at home and if an emergency arises and it doesn't only have to be <laughs> the uh, zombie apocalypse. Uh, we had things a few years ago uh, here in, uh, in New Jersey uh, with something like Hurricane Sandy that took everybody out of commission for you know five to 10 days and some people even longer. So being able to have this in your home, uh, you can look at it as an insurance policy, uh, which I speak about that often uh, with a lot of different type of gear. It's just great to have, and just like when you think about insurance, it's just like, well, I'm not sure if I'm really going to need it, uh, and if I have other stuff in the fridge, why am I going to go to that? Of course, but then we always have insurance just in case something happens out of the ordinary. Well, here's a great insurance policy for your uh, food supply needs. For the purpose of this review, I want to review it uh, where my main application would be, which is probably out in the field. Uh, so I'm going to mimic it, even though I'm at home. I want to go ahead and just uh, cook this up, so to speak, in uh, my fire pit utilizing what I would utilize on the trail, and uh, let's see how that goes. So here I'm basically mimicking uh, what I would utilize in the field, which is my uh, canteen cup and uh, one of my uh, backpacking stoves. So first thing we want to do is get this water boiled. I'm using about half a ration uh, just because uh, for the purpose of this review, uh, why waste it? Uh, also, I would like a few of our Natural Training Center members to uh, get a taste of this, get their opinion, and uh, we have an event coming up this weekend, a couple days away, and uh, I want to give them a try and give them as much diversity as possible, so may as well uh, save that extra ration. I'm going to go ahead and give this uh, pasta primavera a try. Cool thing about it also, as I mentioned previously, the directions are uh, right on here, so if you do get a bit confused, uh, it's written right on the label. We have our uh, water boiling, and it's time to add some of the contents here of our uh, pasta primavera. So we'll go ahead, give it a stir. And 
and we will let it simmer for roughly 15 minutes. So it's been about 15 minutes now. Let's go ahead and remove it from the fire. Let it stand for a bit. It's been uh, sitting, steeping, let's say, for a while here. And uh, texture's looking pretty good, still a little hot. And it's really the moment of truth here. And uh, all the specs look great. Made in America looks great. 25 year shelf life looks great. But what's this taste all about? Let's find out now. Not bad. Actually good to go. Very tasty. Much more impressive than uh, what I thought it was going to be. Heck of a lot better than the uh, MREs that I was used to in the core. Our omelet with ham and franken beans and all that other stuff. Um, but I'll be honest with you, the one thing we did have in our MREs was Tabasco sauce. And uh, a little plug here for my uh, secret Auntie M's ghost sauce. Amazing. Organic. I'll further review this down the line let you in on my, uh, my little secret. But uh, we had a little bit of this magic and I guarantee we'll be even more good to go. So as I stated earlier, uh, Valley Food Storage, uh, they put some thought into this, not only the packaging, but letting you know exactly what's inside of it. Uh, avoiding things like uh, MSG and trans fat, uh, utilizing sea salt, trying to give you as many healthy alternatives as possible. And then at the same time, adding uh, water. So when you're out in the field, you're good to go. And uh, when you're at home, uh, in a pinch, even an emergency situation where you have little extra things like limes and ketchup and maybe some extra cheese and uh, some olive oil, coconut oil, things like that, you throw in there it's just going to be more flavorable um, more flavorful and uh, of course with any type of seasoning and things like that so it does give you that multi-purpose which is nice uh, and at the same time if you just end up uh, heading to the trail and saying you know what I don't really feel like packing a lunch or anything like that you know what you grab one of these and you're good to go and think about it you know five servings just in this one relatively light package uh, as always I'm gonna put the uh, specs in the blog post uh, everything about uh, Valley food storage or as much as I can of course you know links to how you can get their product how you can find out more about their products other flavors uh, and uh, anything else that you need to know as far as specifications that I might miss uh, during this uh, video review. So if you're looking for a viable food source, uh, something that you can store in your home for emergencies, something that you could take out into the field with you to make life uh, much easier. I mean, you need water, you need basically what you're gonna have in your go bag anyway, and one of these packages and just think five servings, just in this simple little light container, tasty. Um, Valley Food Storage, once again, uh, they uh, are really working uh, to get to the top and uh, they have all sorts of stuff once again I'll put links in the blog post uh, and I think there you could even get some samples uh, from them Hopefully things continue to go well for uh, Valley food storage and uh, Hopefully I'll get some other flavors to go ahead and review and uh, some more of their uh, products so that I can share with you and uh, Hopefully you'll go ahead and give them a try uh, give them some support I uh, think that they're definitely good to go. I think you'll be impressed. And uh, I think you have a pretty tasty meal here. At least what I've tasted so far, I've uh, definitely, uh, definitely give it a thumbs up. Let's put it that way. All right, so once again, this is Helder. Hope you enjoyed this review.